Detect model number FS4022, I believe. Uh, this particular watch has been in my collection for a while, and uh, I don't really wear it that frequently. And there are a couple reasons for that. Uh, most of my watches are tungsten and automatic. This one is actually going to be stainless steel and runs on batteries. And uh, those are the main two reasons I don't wear it that often. Uh, it is one of my favorite watches just because it's got a beautiful shine to it. Uh, the stainless steel is just polished to a mirror-like finish. Uh, but it is really prone to uh, getting a lot of nice size scratches and dings on it. Uh, and eventually the mirror finish will wear away after a lot of use. So I try to wear this one only on special occasions. Unfortunately, right now the battery is dead. If you don't wear the watch, uh, generally the battery will die faster, which is kind of unusual. But uh, this particular one does have a dead battery. It's, i got to replace it. Like I said, I don't wear it that often, so I'm not really overly concerned about it. It does already have a couple scratches in it, but... Uh, I'll just kind of quickly go over it here with you. Uh, it does have a real simple dial. It's uh, just a flat gray, mother of pearl almost kind of shine to it. Uh, it's got a uh, the fossil name written across the top, and it does have four uh, markers along there being stainless steel. The top one does have a, a diamond encrusted into it. Uh, like I mentioned, it is a, a, a fossil architect. I don't believe this particular model is still available on the retail market. I have seen them uh, used in a couple different websites. Uh, and they generally range between $50 and $70. Brand new, it ran me $100. Uh, so it's a very reasonable watch if you are able to find it. Uh, very nice watch. Again, the only downside of it is being that it's stainless steel, it does uh, have a tendency to, to get scratched and show those scratches, and there's really no good way of polishing those out or anything. So uh, once you scratch it up, it's pretty much just scratched. Um, but overall, great watch, guys. It does have a clasp button here, as you can see. I might have to zoom out here so you guys can see a little bit more. That's got a clasp button here, release. So you can just go ahead and release it. Uh, it's adjustable, obviously, like most watches are. You can adjust the size by driving these pins out and putting new pins in. Uh, the back here, I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you. You're going to be able to see that or not. It does have the Fossil Architect logo on the back there. And like I mentioned, the model number down there, FS4022. Um, so overall, real nice watch, as you guys can see here. It's got a real nice shine to it. I really like this watch. It's very light, especially compared to my tungsten watches. Um, so overall, I highly recommend it. Really got a nice shine to it. I just wish it wouldn't scratch as easily. So that's pretty much it guys, it's a pretty straightforward watch, there's not a whole lot of bells and whistles with this one, but uh, very pretty. If you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know, otherwise I uh, hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.